Welcome to the Silver Report Uncut. I wanted to give you a little update about what's been going on with the Silver Power team, what's been going on with IGP, because we have some exciting things. So we had a lot of new people come in and join the network. We have the Silver Guru, David Morgan. I told him I would mention him on here. I also have left a bunch of links in the description for a lot of his work. And if you're not familiar, his expertise is in silver. And I'm really glad you joined the team there, David. Also, Lynette Zhang, her Finance Daily, she has joined the Silver Power team. Uh, there was the Silver Dragons too. Another one just joined today. It was Smart Silver Stacker. And I'm sure you guys all in the silver field, you guys watch this genre. I'm sure you might be familiar with a lot of these names. And also, if you're a creator and you have a channel, you want to get involved in it, we're getting a bunch of creators together. That way we become a block. We become a union of creators and that uh, we will become a lot more valuable to advertisers. Sponsors, if you want to come and tap on us at the Silver Power team, <laughs> go right ahead. You can contact me, Frank Walker, at irongripprofits.com. Speaking of Iron Grip Profits, if you guys need a website, sometimes we can get them done in as little as one day, two days, and we have an excellent price. We'll probably beat almost everything you'll see out there. And we don't put out those crappy websites where we're just trying to get done real fast. We actually get good websites done real fast. But that's not all. We have a service. We can translate your videos into 102 languages, the title, the description, uh, the tags. We can also add the subtitles, and these will be published in all of those languages around YouTube. Only around 25% of the YouTube views per day are in English. So even if you're a creator and you're missing out on a lot of that, because 75% of the views are happening in other languages. So imagine suddenly your videos are in placing in their algorithm. I'm going to have to go back to my notes and get them later, but I thank you guys for joining on the Silver Power team. Anyone out there who still wants to get a hold of us, you know, you can contact Angry Profits. I'll leave my WhatsApp in the description. Uh, contact us, of course, on Telegram email us, but the best way to get a hold of us is WhatsApp. I do live in Mexico, and that's pretty much how you can get free international calls, text messages, all that stuff. You don't need to worry about it. We do logo design. We create advertisements. We run ad campaigns. We help people through, and we place ads on uh, Google, Facebook. Again, we have this influencer network that's growing. They're not just on YouTube either. You know, things are branching out. If you need to get a grip on profits, come and call Iron Grip Profits. I thank you guys. Now let's get back at it. I'm saying this because our problems are not over. Our need for safety is not over. It's growing rapidly. The demand for U.S. Treasuries around the world is waning very rapidly. We have a currency crisis on our hands that no one could have ever imagined. I remember I would talk about the dollar collapse and all those things for quite some time. And as I would make these videos, people would come into the comments and they would mention that that's impossible. That the dollar is a world reserve currency. That's impossible. It's so strong. It's so powerful. Nothing will ever get close to replacing it. But of course, back then, we didn't know that they were going to be sabotaging everything around us because it's falling. It's falling very fast. They're actively encouraging it to be pushed down lower to a lower state. Part of this whole entire reset thing is that they are going to make America no longer a leader in the world. So to, to do that, they definitely need to diminish their uh, economic standing, their, their uh, wealth. And this is a great way to do it. A great way to do it would be to target the U.S. dollar. If you had enough nefarious entities working against the dollar, you could take it down. And if they did take it down, the U.S. would no longer be a leader in the world. That is our power. Having the entire world use our SWIFT system, that we can kick them off at will, is having a totally different reaction than what we had anticipated. We thought maybe this would go over if we barked a couple times. But no, our economy is struggling. It's struggling right now, and the Federal Reserve, I don't know how they must feel. They've been out there trying to be very hawkish, trying to prove to people, to prove to people that they are going to be raising the rates, they're going to be raising the amount that they are paying and bringing in. Our economy is falling to pieces. Our gas prices are going to record highs. Our food prices are getting higher and higher. We have shortages all over the place. They, however, and I'm talking about the main country that is involved in the conflict zone, they are having record profits. They are having record oil sales, record oil production. Overall, they have one of the strongest currencies, the strongest performing currencies that is out there right now. They are doing exceptionally well. It's like the world has given them a giant vote of approval. Suddenly around the world, we have so many countries that are insubordinate of what used to be a simple stamp of our feet. Never something I actually thought I would see. To me, it was kind of offensive because I was thinking that this is America. Nobody does that to America. Normally, all of our enemies just get destroyed by us in horrific, horrific scenes that if anybody were to get the videos of, they would put them in a prison for the rest of their life, hiding, maybe in an embassy like Assange. Deep, dark things that they've done, abusing all of their enemies as if nothing. 
I remember shock and awe. They went right through there, and it looked seemed like it went around a couple hours, man. But then suddenly, we were filled with the world of enemies. And all that is coming to head right now, meaning that the dollar is not going to be number one. It's not going to be the number one safe haven. Or as Ray Dalio put it, cash is trash. It's funny. The central banks went to Ray Dalio, and they told him, stop speaking about gold, Ray. And you should ask yourself, what is the hidden power in gold that the central banks would fear so much? Would fear so much? Well, maybe we can't always understand everything, but I know this. It's something that you want to own if the central banks fear it. If it has that kind of power, some kind of mystical power we cannot see, then maybe it's enough to take down one of our greatest threats and enemies. And when we see gold in a bull market, companies, not companies like Gold Mining Inc., but Gold Mining Inc. itself has drastically outperformed the price of gold, bringing back major, major returns. And, you know, people think that it's, we're in the dark days going on for the economy. We've been in the dark days. We've been in everything turned to crap. And we're still living in it. We're still here. But you know what? A lot of the stocks are falling out of favor. They're dropping. They're dropping fast. Gold is, is holding pretty steady. It might be even climbing. It might be even increasing. You have Bitcoin, all of this out there. But it's like these junior miners, they're giving you an incredible discount because everybody was looking the other way throughout this whole time. They're trying to worry about how not to lose money. Because, you know, even though it seems like these wealthy people have infinite money, those losses in the stock market are people's fortunes. They're people's inheritance. They're people's retirements. They might be your retirements. And they just keep getting sucked away, sucked away, sucked away. Now, I also need to go over this with you. This is some really big news. And I just found this out. I was actually ready to publish the video, but I thought this was very important. Gold mining options the Almaden property to Nev Gold for a total consideration of $16.5 million and make strategic investment in Nev Gold. Now, this was actually a really good deal. I was just reading it over and I wanted to read some of the announcement to you. It said that Gold Mining Inc., or TSX GOLD, NYSE, the New York Stock Exchange, GLDG, they're pleased to announce that they had entered into an option agreement with Nev Gold Corporation and its subsidiary, Nev Gold. It says that the Nevgold's subsidiary may acquire 100% interest in the company's Almaden project located in Idaho, USA. The agreement provides for total cash and or share consideration to the company from Nevgold of up to $16.5 million, which is comprised of initial consideration of Canadian $3 million, and also the additional payments of $6 million exercise the option and further contingent payments of up to $7.5 million tied into the success-based project milestones. On closing, Nev Gold will issue 4,444,444 common shares of Nev Gold, or Nev Gold shares, to gold mining result, representing Canadian 3 million of value at a price equal to 67 cents per share, representing approximately 10.6% of the outstanding Nev Gold shares as of this date hereof. So they just got 10% of the company, 10.6% of the company, and this is that gold mining will subscribe to an additional. $1 million of Nevgold shares at $0.67 cents a share, so they're locked into that price for 1,481,481 common shares on closing of the option agreement. And they commit to further lead order in a further financing by Nevgold completed on November 30, 2022 in the amount lesser of Canadian $1.25 million and 40% of the total gross proceeds raised by Nevgold in the financing. And in order to exercise the option, they must follow additional payments to gold mining subsidiary in cash and or Nevgold shares based on a 30-day VWAP. So it was January 1st, they need to have 1.5 million Canadian. July 1st, 2023, 1.5 million Canadian again. And January 1st, 2024, 3 million Canadian. So to exercise the option, they must also make qualifying expenditures on the project totaling $2.25 million. So they need to actually improve this property, move it towards production for $2.25 million. And on top of that, they got a major chunk of this company and a lot more available, it seems. $1.5 million on or before June 1st, 2023. And they also need to spend $0.75 million on and or before December 31st, 2023. So that's a lot they need to now put into this company, move it towards production. And so they've relieved, it's a pretty good deal. You know, somebody wanted to come in and, and do the hard work of mining, but overall it seems like this was very lucrative. And upon satisfying the total of 
Canadian in cash and or share payments and completing the $2.25 million in qualifying expenditures by January 1st, 2024, Nevgold would own 100% of the project. But you see, they've already given returns to their investors. They've already made their investors money by this deal. And I'll show you that in a second. It says, Nevgold is required to make success-based contingent payments totaling $7.5 million to gold mining payable in cash or shares at the election of Nevgold. Also, $0.5 million on the completion of the positive preliminary economic assessment, $2.5 million on completion of a positive preliminary feasibility study, and $4.5 million on the completion of a positive feasibility study. So as it proves to be uh, feasible to operate this mine and to move forward, then it would be very positive, of course. It says, Alstair Steele, the CEO of gold mining, commented, quote, In March 2020, with gold near $1,620 an ounce, we acquired the Almaden property for Canadian $1.15 million. And currently, Almaden represents only 3% of our current overall resource base. Today's transaction with Nev Gold, for total consideration of $16.5 million, represents a significant return to our shareholders and demonstrates the substantial value embedded in our large resource portfolio, which was acquired for the most part when gold was less than $1,350 an ounce. And copper, it was near $2 a pound. The structure of this deal with Nev Gold presents a win-win providing us with exposure to the future success and upside new strategic investment. Furthermore, through our strategic investments and Nev Gold share consideration, we have additional exposure to work conducted by Nev Gold to advance the portfolio in the assets in this region, including its active exploration and drilling of the limousine butt in Nevada. Now, as I said, he seemed like a brilliant man when I had him on the show because back then he talked a lot about these properties. He went and acquired them at the bottom of the market when everyone else was afraid. You know, the time to buy is when there's blood in the streets. He acquired these properties and they are, have increased in value so much just from the overall gold price rising that he just pretty much pulls one out like it's a, you know, a, a wad of cash. And it essentially is. The even better point is that not only did he make a lot of money, they made a lot of money from this deal, but he also got an entire operating company that be brought right under his wing to help support his growing enterprise he has here. That's amazing. And it's an amazing deal that they went through that. And it's not even, it's a win-win, of course. The price of gold has risen a lot since then. And a lot of these properties are very valuable. That was only 3% of their holdings. So overall, this company is like not just a gold mine. It's a just combination of a whole bunch of gold mines. Either way, I just knew I needed to share that with you since this video was going out. I thank you guys for stopping by and joining us. As always, stay free.